Hello and welcome to another edition of Motor Cars Enthusiast. Right off the bat on the old show today, Rolls Royce has officially confirmed that they are working on an SUV. Now we're only about a week and a half, at least from the taping of this particular program, to the Geneva Motor Show. So they may have something in the offering coming up in Geneva, but it's got a lot of fans very upset that they're going the SUV route. Another manufacturer that may be in the offering very soon are the folks over at Apple. Now, Apple is a very big tech giant, but apparently they want to dip their toe into the world of the automobile. Now, we reported on this. They're working on some autonomous technology, sheesh, over a year ago, and they claim that they've been working on that for over a year as well. Well, apparently now it's come out that they want to build a car. Now, I kind of waited around for a wee bit for this story to actually develop a little bit more, but it just seems to spawn more and more rumors about this deal. Now, the official deal is by 2020, they want to be producing full-blown EV or electric vehicle offerings. And there's some rumors floating about that they may be in the market of buying a manufacturer. We'll talk about that here in a wee bit. Not to mention they're putting a ton of folks on this deal. Apparently there's been a hundred engineers working on it. They want to put another hundred, maybe possibly another a thousand engineers on this project. And it's been where they've upped their staff so much that they've been actually, well, they're being sued for poaching of talent. Apparently one group, A123 Systems, a battery company out of Detroit, Michigan, is now suing Apple for taking five of some of its best people. Not to mention this, the latest rumor coming about is that possibly between the next year and year and a half, Apple may try to put a push to buy Tesla, supposedly for $75 billion, which is fantastically overpriced. But that being said, it would really hit the ground running as far as them building EVs very quickly. So we'll know a whole lot more about this group. And definitely they have the cash to do something like this. Supposedly, I've already heard from the folks over at Online.TV that they've got enough money to buy General Motors, Ford Motor Company and Fiat Chrysler automobiles all together at once. So they got definitely got enough cash. We'll know hear a lot more about this hopefully very soon. Folks over at Volvo are working on some new technology, i.e. autonomous technology. In fact, they're putting their money where their mouth is. By 2017, they're going to have 100 customers Listen to that carefully. Customers. These are not professional drivers or anything like that testing these vehicles. These are just folks like you and I. Around Gothenburg, Sweden, these vehicles are actually going to be pounding around in Volvo's attempt to try to make one day to be a crashless society, if you will. Now, these particular systems look very, very good, including laser setups, camera setups, and sensors around all four corners that allow this vehicle to move around in its environment, in the lanes that it's traveling on, and no matter what could come ahead of it, whether it be a full-on stopped car and it'll come to a full stop, maybe a vehicle that's broken down on the side of the road, pedestrians, it can be able to sort out a number of different things just from the computer system that's inside of it, meaning the driver is totally useless in this situation. Tons of backup systems, too. They have a full-on backup system, which they're talking about much like aircrafts do, for if you get to the end of your journey or the end of where the autonomous system will actually be driving and the vehicle's operator needs to take back over if that operator is incapacitated or maybe has just even fallen asleep. The vehicle will just find a safe place to pull over and park until that operator is ready to take control of the vehicle again. Pretty interesting tech. Again, it's coming by 2017, so not very far away indeed. We'll hear a whole lot more of that from the folks over at Volvo very soon. Another vehicle is going to be shown off at the Geneva Motor Show. and We've talked about it before, the brand new Audi R8. And we talked about that possibly that V8 could be gone in favor of a Turbo V6. Now we're hearing there's going to be a bunch of variants of this machines, including for the first time ever, 
an R8 just rear wheel drive, not all wheel drive. In fact, apparently that Turbo 6 is going to come in as standard equipment in the entry level model with rear wheel drive, including some other models, maybe a Super Leggera lightweight version as well. So, going to be an interesting lineup when we see the new Audi R8 that will debut at the Geneva Motor Show. Another vehicle that's going to debut there is the brand new Lotus Evora 400. And you probably already know what the 400 stands for. This vehicle will be powered by a 6.5 liter supercharged V6 putting out 400 brake horsepower and 302 pounds-feet of torque. Now that'll be shifted through a six-speed, we're hearing manual only option for this particular machine. Zero to 60 numbers come in at just 4.1 seconds with a top speed of 186 miles an hour. Not 100% sure if this vehicle is going to be a special edition, maybe a limited edition model, or if this is going to be the future of what the Avora is going to be all about with this supercharged V6 option. Um, and this is just going to be the standard bearer, and there will be other bearers put on top of this machine. We'll know a whole lot more come at the Geneva Motor Show. Last up on the list, Mercedes-Benz showing off the brand new G500 4x4 squared. Now this is actually the little brother of that 6x6 that they showed off back in the past. And this vehicle will be powered by not that particular machine's lump, but a new 4 liter twin turbocharged V8 putting out 422 brake horsepower. But one thing that will be just like the 6x6 is those portal axles. You notice that the vehicle looks like it has no axles in between the wheels. That axle is actually tucked up high with some gear reduction systems right up next to the wheels that are actually going to be putting power to those wheels. And those wheels, apparently you can get an option where 37 inch tall tires on this machine, giving this vehicle 17.7 inches of go anywhere ground clearance. So pretty impressive piece of kit. We'll know a whole lot more of this machine come Geneva Motor Show. Got a ton of stuff showing off there. It's just about in a week and a half's time. And that's all there was that I thought was worth talking about for this edition of Motor Cars Enthusiasts. If you want to jump on over to the Facebook page, in fact, if you want to check out the video on that brand new 4x4 squared from Mercedes-Benz, I got it up over there including a bunch of other stuff that's been going on here lately. Not to mention, if you'd like to subscribe to the channel, you can do so at any time and get the first dibs on the brand new shows as soon as they come out. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again real soon.